Hey guys, it's your girl Nana, and I welcome you all to Nana Nation. So if it is your first time on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because you definitely love it here. On this channel, we talk all things entertainment, we talk about African recipes, and we do lifestyle. So please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. So you guys know Cameroon has been on the news for all the wrong reasons lately. So we're just happy that at least there's something to celebrate, you know, something to at least put a smile on our damn faces so we witnessed the premiere of this amazing amazing movie produced by Khan Quintus it is called The Fisherman's Diary and it's a beautiful movie that put Cameroon on the map you know just like Saving Bango and this movie has won a lot of international awards you know it's such an honorable thing for us the Cameroonians for us Anglophone film um, you know stakeholders if I can call ourselves that so it's just a beautiful thing we've achieved in our movie industry and it's a milestone really for our movies to start winning international awards is amazing so we had the premiere of this movie yesterday in Douala and we are going to talk about the red carpet fashion stay tuned as we break this down so let's talk red carpet fashion so the first person I'm going to talk about is the beautiful Miss Stephanie Tom. Stephanie is most likely the uh, best dress in every red carpet event that concerns Cameroonian movies not only because she's beautiful but because she's elegant she's got class she's got sass and she's got the juice so this is Stephanie rocking a very beautiful black and red puff sleeve sleeve blazer and some white leg pants so she accessorizes well i like her little um fascinator going on and i like her hair also pay attention to the fact that she has no necklace no bangles no rings no purse nothing when your dress is this big the dress makes a statement for itself so when you have too many things going on long earrings long necklaces long bangles and rings everywhere it becomes tacky so stephanie went for a sophisticated look and she left it at that puff shoulders are actually high in fashion right now and this is beautiful so she kept it classy and elegant as usual and now we're going to see the next look um, before we move to the next look I also found Stephanie's dress at Poshmark I found a dress for $65 so if anybody's looking for this beautiful puff sleeve blazer you can get it at Poshmark for $65 and the dress is also beautiful on the runway model I also went to look for the model you know this is how the dress looks on the model on the runway so that's Stephanie's look and now we're going to move on to the next look so moving on we have the beautiful Miss Valerie Aina Miss Valerie was Miss Cameron 2017 or 2018 I think so she is slain in this beautiful v-neck asymmetrical dress with a little padded shoulder I think she's doing well for herself I love her accessories too I love her beautiful shades and the lippy I love her earrings particularly those earrings are to die for and they are Versace so she's also doing well for herself a little two piece is working her little puff trousers and the top I mean they're working well it's well, it's well put together and when you have a body as beautiful as hers you know anything you can literally slay so she looks good for the night and I understand the theme for this red carpet was like a retro 60s look so they're trying to take it back they're trying to look like 60s classy and chic so that's the look she was going for and she nailed it although I would personally recommend a different material like the material her pants are made of just looks cheap it looks plastic and this is not what Valerie is made of Valerie is a lady of substance and she only does classy so I don't know who did her like that the dress is beautiful and all but the pants would have been made of a different material moving on let's talk about the next look next Next up, we have the gorgeous La Fleur, and she did not come to play. This is so 60s, like what? I looked at her dress and I was like, ding dong, on point. Look at the ruffles, look at the layers, look at the gloves. Like she has everything going on the fascinator, her accessories, everything on point. The shoes, I would have loved for her to get like some red bottom pumps and stuff, but this is still beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so 60s and well on point. I love everything about her look it's amazing and then we had the beautiful Ewube slaying in this beautiful off shoulder dress with high slits she was serving legs she was serving um, shoulders she was serving a little booby she can see a little boopsy so she was looking good as well and, and her tailor did not play with her measurement like some people are wearing oversized dresses her dress is form fitting and it's beautiful it hugs her well in all the right places it was great to see and it also is in tune with the goal they are going for for the night it's so 
60s is beautiful and for the guys we had Benoit Yuven he dressed well I don't know if this is in tune with a vintage look if this is in tune with the 60s look I don't know much about that but he dressed well he slain his blazer you know with the beautiful sneakers canvas or whatever he has going on it looks beautiful mm -hmm. moving on we have Stanley Eno <laughs> wearing my father's meeting clothes Jesus <laughs> is Lord he's channeling his inner Kanayo Kanayo you guys know the Nigerian actor this is how Kanayo dresses for Monday to Sunday so Stanley Eno was like oh I have to make this red carpet I have to appear for Fisherman's Diary red carpet what would I wear he started looking left started looking right what would I wear he came across Kanayo Kanayo and he was like okay I got an idea so he went and saw the same dress Kanayo wears every single day and he took it to the red carpet looking like he's going for a family meeting Bangante <laughs> men's meeting now wow even my primary school headmaster did not used to dress like this King Kong what happened to you with a black teddy bear and then we had the pretty Renew. Renew is one of the fast rising talents in Cameroon. She has a beautiful voice and she sings amazing songs. I love all her songs. So this is Renew on the red carpet. I don't know where she thought she was going to. I cannot think of one, one single occasion in my life that somebody is allowed to dress like this. Even if you go to a traditional festival dressed like this, they'll send you away. You want frightening juju. Hey, Renew. So Renew, first of all, you have a turtleneck on. The turtleneck has to go. You have hose on. The hose has to go. You have a funny sandals going on. Look like Sandas and Mammy, the way I thought it day class five for go match 11 February. Okay. That Sandas has to go. This funny colored back has to go. Like everything about this dress is wrong. And if you must wear a dress like this, wear a belt to accentuate your waist. It just looks funny. So, next up, we have the beautiful Mirror Blanche, all black, everything. I don't know the fashion statement she was trying to make here, but her boobs are all out and she has no bra on. The only thing she has on are her nipple covers. So, whether she was coming to this red carpet to show us her boobs, I don't know. Whether she was coming to show us that her boobs are nice and they're perky and they're standing i don't know so she has a drop shoulder dress and an a-line skirt and some sandals it looks okay not too good not too bad in the middle is average and her hair maybe she would have tied it in the back to reveal her face better since her dress already has so much going on and her boobs are also calling for attention maybe she should have pulled the hair to the back i don't know much about that let's move on to the next look so beautiful nabila rod i don't know what look she was going for but this just looks like <laughs> one side looks like a cook like a chef the other side looks like a little sexy dress so it was supposed to be a mini dress and then she has this whole long attachment piece going on satin is very tricky to work with on the red carpet she got a satin dress long and flowy on one side and a mini dress on the other side and it's not well put together one is overlapping and it looks oversized like she just looks uncomfortable and then we had the beautiful Marcel Queche she looks beautiful I love her cap I love her gloves it's very hard for you to see people with gloves on the red carpet that they look good on it but her gloves are beautiful her dress is nice but i feel like the dress could have been tweaked a little bit the shoulders of this dress have the potential of being an off shoulder dress she should have put the shoulders down to the left and down to the right and reveal a little bit of her shoulders show a little bit of skin your dress is already having so much black going on let's see a little bit of light highlight your lips put some bright colors make a bright makeup your dress is dark everything is so black accessorize a little bit put a little bit of color you know to bring some life into your fit moving on we had the beautiful Laura Dave. She has a beautiful body and she dressed well. But you can really see it's like she carried her Gatsby from... <laughs> <laughs> from Brooklyn and she brought it over here it looks like the Gatsby theme with the cigarettes and the raw food dresses and the feathers and everything it looks like she was going with the Gatsby theme and I don't think this is what we're doing here tonight even though they are similar you know it's all vintage it's all back in the day so I guess that also works and then we had Kwa Elonghe channeling his inner apaga moves <laughs> home I can't leave my pee I guess the afro works because they're going into it for a vintage look and this is how men used to dress in those days the afro works the shade works the shirt works but the pants there's a little adjustment to be done on this pant along along the crotch area it's a little bulgy maybe the tailor would have tightened it a little bit it looks good so far and then we had joan in the middle joan gomba she's also one of the hosts of the freaky table uh they are fellow youtubers like me so uh they are cameronian youtubers too in addition to that joan is an event host i think she also doubles down as an mc and a blogger i think so this is joan rocking in her beautiful i like the 
suit i get that i like the blazer i like the pants but what she has underneath her suit doesn't work too well the black and red contrast doesn't work too well but joan can slay every single look if you have a body as nice as hers it shouldn't be difficult to dress yourself she looks okay and we also had yena jr with his beret and everything about his look makes sense from the shoes to the pants and it all looks so vintage and it makes so much sense he's actually the one wrapping the freaky table on this red carpet like he carried the mark you're not didn't come to play he is nailing his outfit and it's beautiful moving on we have the beautiful unyama laura laura never disappoints like when has laura ever failed she always comes through but something was particularly remarkable this night she put this shawl over her dress she covered her tummy the whole time and it made me raise my eyebrows like hmm is her sister pregnant is she hiding a little baby bomb because her pants are oversized and she has a beautiful shirt going on but she covered herself with a shawl the whole evening all her pictures you see that shawl over her dress covering the tummy area is she hiding a baby bulge? Nobody knows. We also had Lino Lovett, and this guy has a certain sense of style, which is really nice. It's classy. Every time you see him on the red carpet, he'll be wrapping his Africanity to the umpteenth power. Every time you see him, like, this is how you do Ankara. This is how you do African prints. Every time he does it in a beautiful way, and it's amazing. You see his sense of style coming through all the time. This is amazing, Lino Lovett. I love it. You rocked it so well. And then we had Mini she had a sequin dress when you have a sequin dress like the pieces are already moving when you walk everything is shaking so the dress has to fit you well it doesn't have to be oversized so her sequin dress was too big and it was just looking funny and then she has long earrings going on long a lot of silver going on her hair is silver a hair piece which was really not necessary like it was just funny and then we had Khalifa Vanitels, and she's the winner of Biggie 237, the very first edition. So she won $11 million, 11 million France CFA worth of cash and prizes, as they said. So she also has a sequin dress. It's looking too ordinary for a red carpet. I like her fascinator. I like her makeup, but something about the dress is off. I would very easily dress like this to church, but for a red carpet, I don't think the outfit is fitting for the event. Also, we had the 237 town crier Danny Green and he looked good like he was really in tune. I love his shades. I love the hair and he went for a denim look. It's good. Even his little sneakers, it all works together. <laughs> Where pa Gwando? <laughs> Bless, believe this thing. Red carpets are not for you. Everybody has their forte. Everybody has their strength. You are supportive. You support everybody in this industry. Bless, be one of the guys I love in this 237 entertainment industry. Every red carpet, every movie premiere, every concert, he, he attends to support his fellow colleagues. Like, he's a supportive guy, but red carpets are not for him. He always comes out here like he is drunk. <laughs> Last time he came out for the red carpet of Broken, looking like Zedeku Zuduranda. <laughs> <laughs> like a missing wizard so bless me red carpets are not for you stay supportive stay true to the craft but mm -mm. <laughs> just don't come <laughs> then we also had salatiel channeling his inner <laughs> for those of you who were not born in the 90s or beyond you wouldn't know dinabel he's an incredible 237 talent so this is how dinabel dresses and salatia was just channeling dinabel vibes and it's beautiful for him to pay homage to an icon like that it's amazing and pictured here with salatia is nabil fongod he is also one of the pillars of 237 entertainment nabil has a successful radio show where he interviews young artists and he gives upcoming talents a platform that's also an amazing thing so the night was an industry night we had appearances from show yo you know show yo being show yo that's how he dresses every day we had the beautiful designer Nguanelis. we had um ni alende menget and his crew that's nabila road beside him and a couple of other two three seven celebs and then we also had leslin <laughs> i know one just talk one year sabi <laughs> and then we have christian steve he was also one of the hosts of the red carpet and then we had jalea we had awu sing song we had kavino walang uh we had christian steve again we had pascal young king 
And then we had the man of the hour himself, that's Kang Quintus, pictured with Sophie Aida looking gorgeous. Kang Quintus dressed in a way that it just made me remember Michael Jackson. It looked like he was going for the thriller look. I'm not sure just yet, but he looked good. And then we had Sandra Pierami. And then we had Kang Quintus again pictured with a beautiful Annie Cookie. Annie designs her dresses herself, and that's amazing. And then we had Numerica Eleveni to get the so numerica has swag he has class he has style but i wasn't feeling it tonight although i understand they were going for the retro 60s look uh this didn't it just didn't make sense it looks like a new convert for cmf you know when you invite your uncle to church uncle come and join cmf for that's how he dressed <laughs> <laughs> and then we had this beautiful auntie she's gorgeous i just forgot her name she's also a very strong pillar in 237 um entertainment like in the movie she produces beautiful movies as well so that auntie dressed as if she was going to church that's a beautiful church look i don't know why she took it to the red carpet and we had beautiful brianna leslie she decided to make a stop at the carpet she was also going at it and then we have gabriel nanje <laughs> nyamton <laughs> every time i see him i just start laughing alrighty so when you see me rushing towards the end of my video just know my little soldiers are up and it's going to be hectic right now so i'm just rushing to finish the video thank you guys a lot for watching i remain your girl onana and if it is your first time on this channel please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below this video because you're definitely going to love this channel on this page we talk all things entertainment we talk about african recipes and we do lifestyle so please go ahead and subscribe and if you love the video if it was funny if it was nice if it was entertaining to you you can share with your friends and family members i love you guys stay safe everyone until next time remain nice and kind to everybody you meet on your way you never know and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye Bye.